Once again this morning I'm interrupting the normal pattern of thoughts for the day to give you a bit of an update on church life. There are two th key things I wanted to speak to you about today. The first is Sunday services. The church leadership team were delighted with how our first service back in our buildings went just over a week ago. The one major issue that we could see is we were very close to being full and we also knew that some of you couldn't make it that first week but were hoping to join us in the building soon. So since then we've had our tape measures out and we've worked out how we can squeeze a few more people in whilst maintaining a safe social distance. But the only way it's going to work is if we know in advance who is coming. So we're going to be back in our buildings again on this Sunday, that's the 20th of September, and we hope to be back in our buildings for the foreseeable future, gathering at 10.30 each Sunday morning as we did before, unless of course someone changes all the rules again. So what we need is for everyone who wants to come and worship in the church building to book in in advance. We need you to email me or give me a ring uh, with your name, with how many people in your bubble are coming and with a contact number for Track and Trace. You must book in for church by midday on the Thursday before you wish to come. It'll be first come, first serve. Um, anyone we can't squeeze in one week because we're full will get priority for the following Sunday. I hope that all makes sense so far. If you want to come to church, to the buildings on a Sunday morning, every week, that week, by Thursday lunchtime, you must contact me to book your place. If you are coming to church, there are still three things that you must be particularly aware of. One, you're going to still need to wear a face covering at all times in the building. Two, we'd encourage you to use the facilities in your home before you come out as the toilets at church could be a particular bottleneck. Three, uh, keeping air flowing through the building is a really good way of reducing the risk of infection. And this means that the church doors are going to remain open throughout the service and we won't be putting the heating on. You should expect the temperature in church to be similar to the temperature outside. So please come dressed appropriately. We're going to continue to stream the services live to YouTube for those at home and we'll keep putting them on the phone line on Sunday afternoons as well. We're also going to uh, continue to meet on Zoom every week at 11.45 so that we can share fellowship with one another. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about today is harvest. Our harvest celebration will be in two weeks on the 27th of September. And this year we're going to be supporting Potter's Bar Food Bank and BMS Operation Chad during that service. If you come into church on the 27th, you can bring donations of food and toiletries for the food bank. And there'll also be envelopes provided for donations to go to BMS. If you're not going to be with us on that morning in the buildings, you can send donations in clearly marked envelopes to the church or directly to Vera for BMS too. Finally, I said two things, I've got one more. If you're a church member, we hope to have a members meeting on in October and you should have received or be receiving a letter including some of the details on how this will work. And if you have any questions about it, please get in touch. For now, just... Uh, me reiterating what I've said. If you want to see this mug in person on a Sunday morning, you must book in by contacting me each week by lunchtime on Thursday. And I look forward to seeing as many of you as we can squeeze in very soon. Take care.